there, Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, coming to you with this week's web video fishing forecast. Well, stuck inside the house once again, as we've got quite the storm rolling through here. Uh, last check today when I was shooting the video, we had upwards of 25 mile an hour screaming winds out of the east, some big surf inside Long Island Sound, rain coming down right now. So I was in no place to set up the video outside, so you get a shot of me in front of my fireplace on a nice warm, toasty afternoon. So moving on to the reports, as always, we're going to start in Connecticut where some large blackfish continue to fall for Connecticut anglers. First up, we've got a nice 12.2 pounder that was landed on a tidal tail jig off Greenwich, Connecticut by angler Mark Pisano this past Sunday. Fish was weighed in at Fisherman's World down in Norwalk and was caught in about 16 feet of water. Now, a few minutes prior to this big tog coming aboard, they also landed one that was about 8.5 pounds. So you know those guys are set up on a really nice rock pile. And that seems to be the way it's been going. Little spurts of bigger fish mixed in with the occasional uh, keeper, as well as a lot of shorts still being reported throughout Long Island Sound. Then moving east, my good friend uh, Captain, uh, Black Jack Martin was out this past week, and he made a really nice blackfish fishing out of Old Saybrook. Uh, his fish weighed an impressive 13.55 pounds, was weighed in at River's End Tackle in Old Saybrook. Now Jack is no stranger to the Green Boat Challenge, so hopefully he's entered this fish once again. Uh, he currently holds a spot in the top of the, the leaderboard, or board, along the leaderboard for the Scup Porgy Division, and last year he finished with fish on the final list for both striped bass as well as black sea bass. So congrats on another nice catch for uh, Black Jack. Well, hopefully that one will hit a leaderboard coming soon. And moving on into Rhode Island, there's more togging going on in Rhodey with a nice 9.2 pounder weighed in uh, for the Fisherman's Dreamboat Challenge, landed by angler Rick Lucchesi, landed off of Watch Hill this week. Now we're getting reports of some really good blackfish off of spots like uh, the Watch Hill Reefs, there's been some good blackfish over off of Point Judith, as well as over off Newport around Brenton Reef. Some really big blackfish coming in around there. Now, there's been some mixed fish here and there throughout the coast, but it seems to be sort of the better spots for the bigger fish that I've been hearing of lately. Also got word from longtime fisherman contributor as well as South Shore, Massachusetts coastal field editor Charlie Soares. And he was out fishing in Rhode Island for blackfish as well as black sea bass recently. And he did extremely well, limiting out on both species. Now sea bass we found in about 70 feet of water and he noted that they were absolutely stuffed with juvenile lobsters and they spit them up all over his boat and made an absolute mess of things. But they said it tasted just fine at the end of the day. The black fish that he got into, his big fish was, he said, right around 12 pounds. That was a little bit shallower than those sea bass. He moved in about 49 feet of water and found the, the uh, black fish on the standard green crab rigs. So some awesome catches going on there. And with uh, sea bass reopening this past week in federal waters, there's a really good mixed bag, cooler filling bite going on right now. Board all of the party boats heading out of the Point Judith area, fishing all along South County, Newport, and out around Block Island. We're getting great catches of uh, cod, blackfish, and black sea bass. Some drops are producing all three species, some a couple. You just never know what that next rock pile is going to produce, but it's a really good bite. When the weather allows, I definitely recommend heading out on one of those boats and getting in on this bite before winter really sets in and the storms keep us off the water. And moving up into Massachusetts, I'm going to continue with the great blackfish catches. Captain Jason Colby had uh, Tomo of Tomo's Tackle from up in Salem, Mass, another advertiser with us. We appreciate it. They were fishing out of Westport River, and they did, got a really good bite of fish in the 6 to 8 pound class. And uh, Tomo, as well as one of his buddies, limited out. Captain Jason had a little bit of a tough time that day, but hey, that's the way it goes. I will say, if you're interested in fishing this area outside the Westport River, around Gooseberry, Check out the November issue of the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine that comes out today. Captain Jason Colby covered the hot spot of the month for us this month, and he spotlights the area outside the Westport River and talks about all the great black fishing opportunities to be had. And tuna fishing is still going really, really strong up off of P-Town right now. And fisherman contributor Captain Mel True nailed a nice 500-pounder last week off the southeast corner of Stellwagen Bay. He followed it up a couple of days later with a nice 180 pound dressed tuna. Made a couple more trips, was the last couple of fish that I heard of from him. However, I've been here not just the Stellwagen Bank area, there's been some fish moving in and out around Chatham. So that whole area's got some big tuna right now with a lot of giants coming to boat. Lastly, we're going to talk about a little bit of freshwater news. 
and there's been some really big largemouth bass landed by Bay State anglers lately, but the biggest that I have heard of was a 9.2 pounder that was weighed in at Red Top Sporting Goods this week. Late fall is a very good time to toss those large swim baits to big largemouth bass as they bulk up for the winter. So get on out there right now. It's an awesome fishery. Hopefully you can get a big bucket mouth of your own. So there you have it. I'm Toby Lipinski for the New England edition of the Fisherman Magazine, wishing you tight lines on the water. To receive the latest fishing reports, subscribe to the Fisherman's YouTube page. Click subscribe, then click the settings button and check send me updates. You'll now receive notifications of the latest Fisherman YouTube videos and reports. If you're already a subscriber, make sure you've checked send me updates in the settings so you receive the latest notifications.